told you to tell me when we're live. Jenny, I told you to tell me when we're live. Well, um, I wanted to do a little how-to video on um, counterpointing this March of the Women. So here it is on your screen. Now we're just doing the first phrase, right? Which is going to go, shout, shout out with your song. Cry with the wind, for the dawn is breaking. March, march, swing you along, and so you'll do, you'll do that first phrase, which repeats. So you'll do it twice. Um, I've got a video recording of my beautiful voice doing this to get it in your ear, uh, but let's talk about the thought process that you would go through. So the first thing that you look at is this first thing is um, a so in F major. So you'd probably put a one chord under it. So it could, would something be like, shout, shout, or you could go like, shout, shout, so you could go one to five, um, and then you've got a me, so it's either a one or a six chord. So let's, let's be fancy and go one, five, six for shout, shout up. Now, if we're going to do that, it would be shout, shout, and so if I was going to do a harmonizing um, melody, uh, a harmonizing line to that, it would be in those chords. So maybe I would go um, shout and then shout up or something like that to that be it, which would be scale, which would be do, so, la, which would be the roots of the chord. But I could go a little fancier and go something like uh, do, ti, la, because T is part of the five of the five chord. So um, if I was thinking about like doing a tenor line, an inner voice, I could be um, in the inner in that inner voice. So do ti la something like that. Um, and so then you go up up with your um, sorry up with your song. So with your song, that fa could be a four chord. Four six chord, of course. Also, um, it could be a uh, two chord. Uh, with, with, sorry, with your song, and so you could go. You could sing a a re underneath there. You could sing a fa, a la, um, depending on what chord you wanted to put under there. So if you're putting a G minor or which would be a two chord, you could sing a B flat. You could sing a G. You could be sing a D. Um, whatever. So the way that you're doing this is you're thinking, hey, what chord am I putting underneath here? What chord makes sense? And then how can I choose a note from that chord that um, makes for a nice line. So a really nice line could be um, if I was going to go to that two chord, and I'm starting at the beginning, I could go um, do for shout, do t la re, or uh, re, uh, and then we'd have to choose something for your. So so. Could be um, could be a one six, and then I could go up re mi underneath your, um, and so this is how you would do it. You would walk through it like like this, asking yourself what chord um, am I harmonizing this with, and what note do I want to pick from that chord to make for a nice line that counterpoints that um, that line. And should you worry about parallel fifths and like parallel octaves? Yes, yes. Um, but like, you don't have to worry too, too much about all of those um, rules that you learned in um, in in theory one uh, and two. But like, you know, try to make a nice, smooth line that counterpoints with the original melody. At least resolve your sevenths and don't do parallel fifths and octaves. Gosh, Doug, I look like an apple. What are you even doing back there? Well, I hope this has been a little useful. Um, again, email me any questions that you might have about this. I know this is a new, a kind of new task that I'm asking you to do, so please do reach out to me or the TAs if you need any help with this.